Hello, I'm at Tor Bay Beach. I'm just looking at some Thai pools. It's December and I'm going to see what's here. So let's take a look. One thing we have is the frill of anemone. Yes, there are sea anemones in Newfoundland. Right here. We have some different life in here. We have mussels and coral and algae covering the rocks, some marine lichens, and we have barnacles and some kelp. I sometimes find sea slugs, so hopefully you'll see some of them today. There's a tortoise shell limpet there. I'm going to try to turn over a rock now. I have to be careful with this because I have to turn it back over the way it was originally. Because it's hard for the organisms to acclimate to them in different conditions. Oh wow! Sea slug right there. What I believe is a sea slug. There's a blade of kelp here, I believe it's a sugar kelp right there. So, kelp can grow around here because right down where the kelp is, it's where the water never goes lower. It's called the subtidal. I was here oh, uh, about two weeks before and there were a lot more um, uh, sea slugs. But I think the reason that they're not here now is that I noticed that there were eggs around this area. So what good thing is that sea slugs were only here to breed and, and, they're, uh, and they're now they're heading back out. Yep, so right here we have a limpet. Um, they're also known as Chinese huts. Essentially they're flattened snails. So what they can do is they can rasp onto rocks and create a little hollow for themselves that they'll return to whenever the water seeds. They use something called a radula. It's yeah. a tongue-like structure that's filled with lots of horny, it's almost like teeth. Right here we have another frill of anemone. It's only a small one. And one way it could have come into existence is through something called budding. So what anemones will do is they'll pinch off a small portion of themselves and that portion can grow into a whole new organism but it's genetically identical so it has the same DNA. This right here. So you can see that it has tentacles and it's and it has the okay. so this is the oral side and the aboral side is connected to the rock here. So how they catch their prey is that they have stinging cells called a nematocyst and when an organism touches it, it gets stung by it. Luckily, humans aren't affected. Look, this little bushy-backed uh, nudibranch. It's a type of sea slug. There's a type of sea slug I see most often. And over here, we have something called coral algae. It's all that pink stuff. It's a type of algae, and it, it, it's encrusting, so it'll grow very hard, so it's calcareous, and it'll grow over things in coral reef systems. Certain algae like that are known to help grow the reef, but they're not uh, coral in themselves. So that's what lives at Torbay Beach.